good guys uh, so just fitting this new smaller car decoder to uh, this vehicle MCC deck so previously these decoders were quite a bit bigger so when you were doing smaller vehicles cars and little vans space to put in the decoders was uh, a bit tight um, so they developed this so to show you what we've done here so at the moment here you can see we've connected these two enamel wires from the receiver coil which is here and then the motor to outside the solder pads there so that's the first step I've already put the lights in the vehicle so that's going to be the next step to add the lights to the decoder solder pads these are solder pads um, Oh, I've got my finger next to it, you can see how small the decoder is. They're actually quite easy to solder to. Um, I'm surprised. <laughs> but yeah, it's alright, all really good. Okay, so um, all the LEDs that we're connecting, um, they've got to go through some resistors. Now, obviously, the smaller the vehicles, the less space you got. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's some tiny SMD su surface mount resistors I've put on there. 680. Um, I make up these little connection pads because it's just so much easier. Um, you can now put all the wires on either end, one to go out to decode, and then the LEDs to come from the other side. So here's the LEDs for the headlights. I will then uh, solder these wires onto here. So these decoders are negative return, so this side's just got no resistor on. So that'll be the negative, and then the side that goes to the function of the decoder is positive, so that goes through the resistor to the decoder. Um, as you can see there, so basically I've made up the bit between the LEDs and the decoder. Just makes life a lot easier, I find. Um, and when you're mounting it in the vehicle, you get nice and tidy too, so that's great. All right, cheers. So it's now fitted with its MCC. Deck 3 decoder, 100 milliamp battery. So this 